Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So as promised, I am doing my four month update as it's been four months post-transplant. I had my kidney transplant on September 1st, 2021, and it is now a couple days shy of January 1st, which would be New Year's. I just wanted to point out some of the major changes that I've noticed up to this point. But before I do, I do wanna to say to all of my subscribers who are current dialysis patients, both hemo and PD, I do have a very important video coming up that I want you to make sure that you watch. In my transplant video, I mentioned the paired exchange program, which is something that a lot of people on dialysis who are awaiting the kidney transplant are unaware of. And this gives you another option to broaden your pool of people that will help you to receive a transplant, hopefully, just depending on the circumstances, quicker than usual. So please, please stay tuned for that video. Also guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment underneath this video, and also turn on the notification bell so that you are aware of any time that I post a video. Okay, so let's get right into the video. And make sure you don't forget to click. So I'm gonna get right into some of the major changes that I've experienced since receiving my transplant. But first, I want to acknowledge the decor in here. Obviously, we are within the holiday season. My favorite holiday has just passed, but I do want to say if you celebrate Christmas, Merry Christmas to you. And for those of you who do not celebrate Christmas, Happy Holidays to you as well. So the very first thing that I have to recognize that has changed for me, I guess, most obviously is my routine. Being that I was a PD patient whose prescription was to do dialysis every single day, which cut my day short sometimes. So I really had to get used to it. It was almost like embedded in my memory, like, okay, time to get on dialysis, time to get on dialysis. So after I first received that transplant and then came home, it felt weird not getting on dialysis. So that was something that just took maybe like two or three weeks to even get used to. In addition to just the dialysis, during your transplant, your port's removed. I had been living with this port, like always being so very cautious of my midsection and making sure that it didn't snag on anything or that I was keeping it super sanitary. And because of me being so used to it, it's almost like I could still sense it there. Like I moved day to day and how I dressed and I did all the things as if it was still there. This is my first time on dialysis. So this was something I've never experienced before. I was, it was just a peculiar feeling. It's almost like I could still sense the feeling of my port. It probably about the same amount of time that it took me to realize that I no longer had to hook up to the machine is the same amount of time it took for me to realize I no longer have this port. And with the removal of the port, a lot of my OCD tendencies that I developed during my time on dialysis, they started to decrease. I was on the borderline of being obsessive about my cleanliness. You guys know, as a dialysis patient, you're already going through so much. The one thing that I felt like I could control, which ultimately some people can do just as much as I was doing and still end up with an infection, but for me, it gave me peace of mind to make sure that I checked and rechecked my steps in cleaning. Even if you look into my tutorial, you can read the caption where it says, okay, this might be an unnecessary step, but this gives me peace of mind. Like, okay, I'm already dealing with dialysis. I do not, if I can control it, do not want to deal with an infection. And over the course of somewhat of three years that I was on dialysis, I didn't get an infection, so. If you haven't seen it, you can reference my daily dialysis routine tutorial to see what I did to do that. The third major thing that I noticed a huge difference in was my actual body. As we know, dialysis affects each person differently. For me, it made me lose so much weight, in part due to the fact that my appetite decreased tremendously. I'm an athlete, so I eat multiple meals a day. That's something I'm very used to. And I think on dialysis some days, I only even had the urge to eat once. And then when I tried to eat, a lot of times I wasn't hungry. So and my body suffered the consequences of that. And I lost a lot of weight. From the time that I was told that my kidneys were failing again, about a week leading up to my transplant, I had lost 25 pounds. I have since gained all of that weight back. But for me, this is a blessing. I wanted my body to return to a sense of normalcy. During your recovery process, 
your activity is limited, obviously, because your body is healing. So my appetite returned, but I was unable to work out. So even though I was gaining the weight, it wasn't coming back onto my body like I would like. So as soon as I got the go ahead, I have been working out on a very, very consistent basis. And so with that, I'm enjoying feeling like I'm back in my own body. And with that comes the return of some confidence. You know, during the course of the time while I was on dialysis, for various reasons, you know that we're on prednisone, so our face gets puffy, or just being on dialysis altogether, you become puffy and swollen. And for me, I would look in the mirror and I didn't like what I saw. So that took a huge toll on my confidence. And, you know, since my transplant, I've been able to just reflect on that time and realize like, you know, superficial things like that don't really matter, but we're human and those things affect us. I think the blessing is in being able to pursue each day and live each day out. You don't know what the next day has in store, but at least we have the days. So if you're dealing with that, I probably understand it. Like anybody else dealing with, you know, kidney disease and being on dialysis, but the bigger blessing in it all was being able to live my life still. Like PD allowed me to still have some sense of freedom. It allowed me to stay alive. Like where, what greater gift is there than that? So the last and final thing that is the most significant change since my transplant is recognizing everything that I've gone through these last three years. It had some purpose. And this is gonna sound cliche, but it is my truth is I have truly come out of this situation an entirely different person with a totally different outlook on life. It has raised my motivation to complete my goals. Without your health, you don't have anything. I don't know what tomorrow holds. I know where I came from and I, and I know where I am today. Because when you go through something as, as crazy as, you know, what kidney disease is and what you have to deal with every day, and, there's other struggles that people experience, but for me, my personal journey has been the kidney disease. You know that life is not promised to you. You know, my doctors told me at one point, the way that my health was, that there was a possibility I could have lost my life. Things like that that happen to you, I feel like it's just impossible not to be moved and changed by that, and I was. So as hard as what you're probably going through or know somebody who's going through and what I went through, was and is, I'm grateful for it because it has given me a perspective on life that I didn't have previously and I see I see life. Okay, I love Nipsey Hussle, he's a rapper. He has a bar in one of his songs that he says, I'm starting to see this life shit from a bird's view. You know, it, it broadens your perspective. Like if you're in the sky and you can see everything below you, you see the bigger picture. That's what it's given me is giving me that perspective. And so I'm, I'm so motivated to pursue my dreams more than ever. I know that if I got through that, if you're getting through that, once you get through those darkest days, I promise you'll realize that you can do things that you never even imagined. I'm hungry for everything that life has to offer. All the beautiful things in life, the beautiful things that I have the opportunity to have and to pursue. So that is the end. Like I said, if you are a dialysis or any disease patient and a transplant is something that you are eligible for, please, please tune in for my next video where I will talk about Parrot Exchange. One of my very best friends who entered into the Parrot Exchange, she didn't donate me her kidney, but because she donated a kidney to someone because I was in need, I received one because she came into the process with me. Not only was my life saved, but someone else's was as well. So that's what I wanna elaborate on in the next video. For those of you who have watched all my videos thus far, thank you so, so much for being on this journey with me. Just another reminder, push that notification bell. Hope to see you guys in my next video. It's an important one. I'll see you then.